I had the chance to work with Damon a few days ago in order to help him try to break his record on the water tower loop on Grand Ridge Trail near Issaquah, Washington. He's currently about nine seconds off the record on Strava in a nine minute loop. So he's pretty close to being able to get the fastest time. And one of the things that really emerged as something that is, is leaving a few seconds on the table is his ability to get through off camber turns quickly. And what we're seeing here in this video is that he's ever so slightly too far back and this creates an inability to deliver the outside hip through the turn. So we see here his left hip is being held back in this turn slightly and his left arm is a little bit too extended. So he needs to drive that left knee forward more in an effort to get that left hip to come through and also to make space in his upper body to get some elbow bend so that he can raise the left elbow a little bit more and get his shoulders pointing in the right direction. So we can really see here quite clearly that he's not pointing in the direction where the turn is going. His hips are kind of hanging on and pointing toward the outside. And it's not till the very end of the turn that he's actually able to kind of get some hand steer and finish the turn but it's a little bit uncomfortable and he really has to zigzag back across the trail to get up and around the tree. Now let's take a look at the after, after making some adjustments with his riding. And here we have the after of Damon. So we've made some nice changes to his riding. He's not 100% perfect here, but he's well on his way to recovery uh, with his off camber turns. So we'll take a little look here at what's going on that's been improved. So as he comes in, he's able to actually get his left hip to come up and around a lot better and he's able to maintain a little bit of elbow bend. Notice here that he's able to finish the turn more effectively as well. So it's the footwork that really turns our hips. So that outside foot moving down allows us the freedom to rotate through and turn our hips. And our ability to raise our elbow is what is gonna help us to turn our shoulder. And we're only able to do that if we're directly over the bottom bracket, over the middle of the bicycle. So a simple adjustment of getting him to drive forward a little bit more at the outside knee here is bringing that hip through a lot better and also bringing him space to lift the outside elbow and turn the shoulders. A couple small adjustments should go a long way toward taking Damon to the record on this trail. Go get him, man.